The Mysterious Disappearance of Jack O'Sullivan Jack and his family were originally from Neath in South Wales. Jack had a promising future and he'd already graduated from the Exeter University with a degree in history. After graduation, Jack moved back to his home in Bristol to continue his studies. By now, Jack was an aspiring solicitor. He was studying a post-graduation law diploma at BPP Law School in Bristol in the early hours of Saturday, 2nd of March, which was just like any other normal night. Jack left his family home to meet some of his friends in Bristol. He and his friends decided to go to the pub and from there they went on to a house party in the Hotwells area. By 1am Jack messaged his parents with plans to get a taxi. But unfortunately something happened and Jack didn't manage to get a taxi because at 3.17am he was seen on CCTV walking onto the grass area at the junction of Brunel Lock Way and Brunel Way. Jack's phone records indicated that he attempted to call a friend who was still at the party and this was at 3.24 a.m. By 3.30 a.m. Jack's friend called him back but unfortunately the call was disconnected just after Jack said hello. By 3.39 Jack was seen walking along Bennett Way by 3.40 a.m. Jack was seen on CCTV walking up Bennett Way Slip Road heading towards Hotwells. By now it was 5 a.m. in the morning and Jack's parents noticed that he still wasn't home. This was completely out of character for Jack. Jack would never stay out all night, his mum Catherine says. At 5.40 a.m. Jack's phone placed him at an address in the Granby Hill area. At this point, Jack's parents, Alan O'Sullivan and Catherine O'Sullivan, decided to go there, but unfortunately, there was no trace of their son. By 6.44am, Jack's phone remained active on the network until this time. His parents, Alan and Catherine, have been searching for him ever since he disappeared. His mother, Catherine, said, It's getting worse and worse for us. We've changed seasons and now we're in the summer. She said, you just can't believe it. Time has stood still. I'm still on March the 2nd. I can't go forward at all. She said, we have to somehow find a way because we owe it to Jack. If his brother was missing, Jack would move heaven and earth to find him. So we must try. He never ever takes no for an answer and determined was his middle name. Jack's parents have also registered a complaint against Avon and Somerset Police, the force in charge of the investigation. They believe that the police have not investigated their son's missing case properly. She also said that she sympathised with Jay Slater's mother, who yesterday said words could not describe the pain and agony she was feeling. Catherine O'Sullivan continued with, My heart goes out. To anybody in this situation, it's unimaginable. From a mother's perspective, that poor lady in Tenerife, she must be in hell because I know I am. She said every day gets harder. We're in a living nightmare. It is difficult to put it into words to be fair. It's just an extraordinary situation where we're just not getting any answers. We're not getting any closer to finding out what on earth has happened. She continued with, when you see the amount of coverage and appeals about Jay Slater, you wonder, should we be doing more? Should we have done more? She said it does ask questions of us because initially we were in the hands of the police and just were very accepting that everything we were told was being done, was actually being done. It's just that as time goes on, we realize that things have been missed and not done as thoroughly as we thought that they were. Let's hope that Avon and Somerset police get their act together and find this boy and get him home to his parents. <laughs>